Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to this dash cam. This dash cam has all of the Chinese in it. That's all of the Chinese in this dash cam. Uh, this is probably one of the most Chinese units I've reviewed so far, but it's awesome as a consequence. Uh, at only £40, I'd say it's probably worth twice that price uh, for the picture quality and the features that you get with this camera. If you want to buy one, the links are as usual in the description. Here's a review. So it comes with one of these moulded plugs, which is no good right from the off, because I don't want that taking up my cigarette lighter space, so that can go. Uh, and so this is our little device, and it's got five buttons on it, which uh, will hopefully mean something to me when I power it up. A little uh, usual USB charger port on it. Uh, so I think I can probably use any USB charger on that. Um, and then you've got this nice shiny camera lens, which is going to point out of my window. So I've connected this to my PC, and I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. And then find it's the wrong voltage and I've destroyed it, and then I'll just be very sorry. Um, this would be easier if I wasn't reaching around a camera. Ooh, pretty noises. That looks like, yeah, there's camera stuff going on. Oh dear. Chinese. I don't speak Chinese. I don't know what that is. I hope the instructions are going to tell me what that is, because otherwise I'm already stuck. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and scan a QR code and see if that is going to solve it for me. I'm going to go find my QR scanner. There it was. I'm going to scan from there, instruction booklet. Okay. Hoochie Wang. <laughs> I just realized the name of the website is Hoochie Wang. I like that. That tickles me. Translate. Um, dear users, hello. You are welcome to use the hidden car dedicated Wi-Fi drive recorder software, Hui Car World. Please follow the phone system to select the above icon to download. Uh, okay. It's a hidden car system. This is exciting. I feel like James Bond. I love that it's called safe download or ordinary download. Well, I'd quite like the safe one. Application treasure? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure I should open this. I really don't want to install that. I might find a device I don't give a about before, before I install this on anything. Mm. Yes, I don't think I'll be doing this with my S7 Edge somehow. That can go away. Alright, so I've been told by the uh, gentleman that sent me this that I don't need any of these apps. Uh, I can just do it all on the device itself. So if it's plugged into the USB port, you'll get options for USB, and that's what was confusing me. I'm going to switch this on now, not connected to a USB port. Welcome. Uh, and you can see I'm not getting two uh, menus like I was before. I now just get the normal camera mode where I can video things if I want to. So pressing this menu button brings up two things. You've got the uh, movie menu, which will be all things like your resolutions and your exposures and those sorts of things. Uh, and then pressing the menu button again takes you to settings like date, time, that sort of thing. Uh, pressing it again takes you back to the main screen. So I'm going to press it once to get to the movie settings uh, and use the arrows to go through. Resolution is what you'd expect it to be, so 1080p full HD, good stuff. Uh, if you've got a smaller card, you might want to pick a smaller option. And we've got loop recording. Loop recording, you've got a choice of either 5 or 10 minutes, so it'll overwrite every 5 minutes or overwrite every 10 minutes. I've got a small card again, so 5 minutes is fine with me. WDR, uh, off or on, I have no idea what that is. Perhaps I'll Google it uh, and figure that out before I release this video. Perhaps I won't. Maybe you'll be lucky, maybe you won't. Uh, exposure, uh, you can choose different exposure options, so that's fairly self-explanatory. I'm going to leave that at zero for now. G sensor, so this is the gravity uh, sensor, uh, and it's at the minute very sensitive. Uh, let's set that to medium for now and see how it gets on. Uh, so I think the gravity and the motion um, detects whether you're moving in a vehicle to decide whether to record or not. Whether you're, or not you want it to record audio, off or on, I'm going to leave it on for now. Uh, date stamp, on or off. Uh, basically, this just puts a date stamp on your video. So all really self-explanatory, nice and easy. Time-lapse record, um, that's like the juttery. I don't know why you'd want to do that. 
Uh, maybe that's if you've got a really, really small SD card. I can't think any other reason that's useful. Okay, and then if we press menu again, I get low battery. That's not helpful. Goodbye, son of a bitch. Okay, so I think what I've just discovered is if you hold these two buttons down, you get a uh, picture off. And then you have to hold these two buttons down again to get picture back on again. So that, so that's something I've just learnt by um, making myself really irritated whilst tr trying to make this review. Uh, okay, so we're going to go back into menu. No, we're not. It's locked. Right, okay. The menu is locked whilst recording. If you press this button, it will stop recording. So we're going to go to menu again, and we've already been through all those, so I'm going to press menu one more time to get to these settings here. So date and time, obviously you want to set your date and time accordingly. Okay, car number, I have no idea what that is. For some reason, you can choose a car number. I'm going to leave it at zero. Auto power off after one minute or two minutes or three minutes of not being used. Uh, so that's fairly self-explanatory. I'm going to leave that at two minutes. Uh, language, we've already been through. You need to set that to English if you haven't already. Screensaver. Hmm. I guess after a minute it's going to do something sexy. I'm not going to wait for a minute to find out. That's fine by me. TV mode? PAL or NTSC? Uh, I'm in the UK, so I need to choose one of those. I can't remember which. I'm going to leave that as PAL for now. Frequency, either 50 hertz or 60 hertz. That's to do with uh, the um, speed at which it is flickering. Uh, I'm going to leave it at 50 hertz for now. It's fine. You can see there's quite a lot of stuff here. Parking monitor, off, low, medium, or high. I have no idea what that is. It's probably useful, though, so I'm going to write it across your screens now that I've figured it out. <laughs> uh, no idea what it is at the time of making this video. I'm going to leave that at low. Display ratio, 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. Uh, I am living in 2017, so I'm going to leave that at 16 by 9. Uh, Wi-Fi, you either have off or on. That's whether this thing is wirelessly transmitting to an app. Uh, I'm going to have that switched off. I'd recommend you do the same because this thing gets ultra hot when you leave it on too long. Uh, so Wi-Fi might be useful, I suppose, if you want to install one of those dodgy apps, but I'm not going to, that's for sure. So there's loads of menu options on this thing. This thing is like, it's like super detailed. Uh, and there's your version in case you wanted to upgrade the firmware on it, uh, which I'm guessing is what the menus were when I first plugged it into USB. Uh, I don't need to upgrade the firmware on this thing. So let's go plug it in, into my car and see what happens. So this is where we're at. That is now uh, plumbed in. Get the seat back a bit. You can kind of see the amount of the cockpit that's taking up. Um, I don't think the 3M stuff is going to stick it for more than about 10 seconds. I think I'm going to drive away and it's going to fall straight down. And I'm going to be really angry. <laughs> um, but we'll find out uh, and then I'll find another way of sticking it in place, I guess. Uh, so let's go for a drive. Okay, so the dash cam is currently off. I'm going to um, switch the ignition on and see what happens. I'm pretty sure this USB ports uh, remain charging all the time even with the ignition off. So I'm wondering how well this is going to work. Welcome! So, let's go for a drive. Um, it's interesting. I've never driven whilst YouTubing before. You probably shouldn't YouTube and drive, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is an advert of things not to do. I'm sure it's fine. As a learner driver, great stuff behind that person now. And the screen's just gone off, uh, so I'm guessing it has some kind of safety feature. In fact, that's going to be the screensaver, isn't it? So that screensaver I mentioned earlier on. Uh, means literally it saves the screen, so the screen goes to black uh, however many seconds or minutes you choose the screensaver to come on. Uh, so that makes sense. The 3M tape has stayed stuck to the window. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. I get a sneaking suspicion I'm going to have to buy some more uh, tape to replace it with because I don't think that's going to stay on my window. It's probably going to fall off the window in a minute and then swing from its cable straight into my phone and then destroy my phone and in turn my life. Sure, this is super exciting watching me drive. <laughs> Come on, if you want the right-hand lane, speed up a bit, loser. 
I'm not a good driver. I mean, I am a good driver, but I, I am like the worst driver in the world for getting frustrated with people dilly-dallying and... Um, that's very English of me, isn't it? Dilly-dally. Yeah, finally, I can capture on camera what jerks everybody else is on the road, because you probably don't know. You probably, you've probably never been on a road and realised that the UK is full of morons. Probably none of them quite as stupid as to be sat talking into the camera whilst driving, though. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of comments on this video already of people saying, You're a dick! You're the one that's talking to a camera while driving! You're absolutely right. So WDR um, is basically two images, high contrast and low contrast, mixed together to give you the best of both worlds. Uh, that is the theory. Uh, so this camera footage should be um, as best it can possibly be now in the dark. So we're going to have a drive and find out. It looks pretty good on the little monitor in the top corner already, I have to say. Uh, all the street lights look um, quite white though, I guess, so I think the contrast is maybe a little higher than maybe it ought to be. Um, I won't really find out until I get back to the PC because it's a tiny little screen. Uh, that guy's moving far too fast. Dickhead. I'm not used to trying to make idle chit chat with my mobile phone while I drive, so you'll have to forgive me if the conversation isn't scintillating. Uh, as we parade around. The important thing is that you're seeing how well this camera performs, right? Not how scintillating my conversation is. So I hope you appreciate what I'm doing for you here, because I'm, uh, I'm not drinking alcohol, so I can drive around in the dark in the middle of the summer. Uh, it's Friday night, so that's a big ask. I really should be at home drinking alcohol. Uh, so you're terribly lucky. Terribly lucky indeed. So I've just realised I haven't had this car for very long and I didn't have my lights on all this way so far. So that might affect the picture. <laughs> I don't know, I'm wondering whether you can see people's registration plates. I'm guessing if they've got their lights blaring at you. I don't think any camera is going to be able to see a person's registration plate. Okay, so I'm going to take it away from the street lights now. I'm going to go out into a, what I know to be a pretty dark road without any street lights on it and see what we get. There we go, completely dark now, no street lights. The picture of me probably looks terribly exciting. Oh god, this car's good fun. <laughs> I haven't had it long and it is just so exciting to drive. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more of this guy, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.